For these questions, we're going to use a strip diagram to help solve the problem. Remember, a strip diagram is just a model for showing the relationship between the parts of an equation and the whole that the parts make. So let's look at some different examples of how you might have to do this. So on number one, it says if there are six peaches in a box and there are three boxes, how many peaches are there in total? So for this problem, we're going to be finding the total number of peaches. So if I draw my two strips, I'm gonna make my bottom strip represent the total and put a question mark there, because that's what we're trying to figure out. So we know the two parts of the top strip. We know there are six peaches in each box and there are three boxes. So I'm just going to draw the three boxes and I'm going to label six for each one. So the parts together equal the sum. So I could just do repeated addition, six plus six plus six, or I could do six times three. Either way, my answer is 18, and the total number of peaches is 18. Let's look at number two. It said, Jane has 14 stickers in her collection. If she wanted to fill up seven pages, how many stickers would she need to put on each page? So this problem is a little bit different because we know the total already. On number one, we had to find the total. But on number two, we know that she has 14 in all. So we know this is going to be 14. Something about the top strip we're going to have to figure out. So let's start with what we know. It says she wanted to fill up seven pages. So I can make seven squares and have each square represent a page. All right, so now I have um, seven rectangles here. And the question is, how many would she need to put on each page? So all I have to do to fill out my strip diagram is to go back and put a question mark on each page. That's what we're trying to figure out. Well, since we know the total, our answer is not going to be bigger than 14. Our answer is going to be smaller. So the two operations that give us smaller answers are division and subtraction. We could do repeated addition, but in this case, it makes more sense to do division. So if I start with 14, I'm gonna divide it by seven because that's the number of pages I wanna fill up. And so I find that the quotient is two, so I know that the question mark equals two. Every time we see a question mark, that represents a two. So our answer is two. Okay, for number three, it says Brandon ran 56 miles during Joggers Club. If he ran eight miles on each day, how many days did it take him to run 56 miles? So for this problem, we know the total. We know that the total number of miles he ran was 56. So I can label the strip, the whole strip, 56. And now what I need to think about is the parts. He ran eight miles on each day, but it doesn't tell us how many days he ran. So it's hard to break this up into the number of days. So what you need to do is just start with eight. And that's one day. So another eight would be two days. And another eight would be three days. And another eight would be four days. Five. And you're gonna keep doing this until you've gotten to 56. So here we have eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. And if I do one more, it's going to be 56. And so then to find out the number of days, all I have to do is go and count the number of parts that we broke the strip into. So the number of days would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So our answer is seven. Even though you can't see a seven anywhere, you have to realize that the parts, the little rectangles that you break it into, represent the factor that represents seven. All right, you try some on your own, and if you need help, you can come back and rewatch the video. Good luck.